Are the Democrats in Idaho stealing elections for mayor and city council? Hi, this is Ryan Davidson with Idahoans for Liberty. You know, there are certain things on the ballot that I find to be a little bit strange, but they're never really discussed because, well, that's just the way we've always done it. What about our municipal elections? Those are the elections we have for mayor and city council, which happen every odd-numbered year. These elections are nonpartisan, which means candidates appear on the ballot without their party designations. There are no primaries, only the general election. And this is the way it's been for a long, long time. Supporters of nonpartisan elections say that city councils are inherently nonpartisan and that all decisions they make about budgets, sewer lines, and snow removal are simple, straightforward, and not based on ideology. So what's been the result of this style of election in Idaho? Why are Democrats winning so many city elections when Idaho is the most Republican state in this country? An Idaho Statesman article from November 2nd has the Democrats bragging about what has honestly been an open secret all along. The Democratic minority leader from the Idaho legislature is quoted as saying, In nonpartisan races, when we're not saddled with the D, we have tremendous success in elections. That's right, they're admitting they have to hide the fact that they're Democrats in order to get elected. Because the Democratic Party of Idaho is so small, holding only 16% of the seats in the legislature, they have to focus their efforts on the few races they can actually win. Nonpartisan municipal elections give Democrats an edge they don't have in most races, said the minority leader. A link to the statesman story is included at the end of this video, and it's really worth a read because it details the Democrats' overall strategy in trying to target nonpartisan elections in Idaho. But what about the argument that there's no Republican or Democratic way to pick up garbage in your city? <laughs> city councils are many legislatures. They pass laws and policies, and that will always be governed by political ideology. Spending and tax increases are inherently partisan. Cities deal with LGBT issues, marijuana legalization, gun control, speech regulation, issues every bit as contentious as what Republicans and Democrats in Congress have to grapple with. How is this supposed nonpartisanship playing out in Idaho? Take the city of Eagle, for example. It's located in Legislative District 14, which consistently votes Republican in the even years. Republican candidates for the legislature average 70% of the vote. And yet, as of the last municipal election this year, the Eagle City government is now majority Democrat. And we're not talking about conservative Democrats. We're talking about radical environmentalists and progressives. The Eagle City Council has spent a surprising amount of time trying to ban fracking within city limits. Even though there is no land currently being fracked, there are no plans to frack in the future, and you can't even really frack in Idaho because the ground isn't suitable. Ada County is majority Republican, but the city of Boise is dominated by Democrats. The mayor is a social justice warrior who has torn down at least three monuments so far in the name of political correctness. Not monuments sympathetic to the Confederacy. We're talking about the Ten Commandments and a monument to the soldier who helped settle Boise over a hundred years ago. It's time to end this nonsense. When a tiny minority manipulates an election process to elect candidates whose views bear no resemblance to a majority of voters, they're essentially stealing elections. Here's the plan to change things. We've submitted a resolution to the Republican Central Committee calling for an end to nonpartisan city elections. This will be voted on by delegates from across the state assembled in Boise in early January. If the party supports the resolution, legislators are ready to introduce a bill at the State House during the next session. While you might think this will be a slam dunk, it won't be. Any major change to a long-standing election process is always met with strong, well-organized resistance. Idahoans for Liberty needs to raise funds to fight against the lobbying of the Democrat machine. We need to spread awareness of this campaign to Republican voters across the state. Your contributions are needed now. Click the link below to send a donation by PayPal. Remember to share this video and get involved. The stakes are high. Could you be the next bakery sued out of existence for refusing to bake a gay wedding cake on religious grounds? 
The next gun owner prosecuted for carrying in a public park. This is the power that municipal governments have. Help us fight back today. Mm -hmm.